thank you, Brian and Matt, for the invitation, and, and thank you to the audience for uh, spending your morning with us here. It's, uh, it's a bear market, but it's great to see so many diligent investors uh, made the trip down to, to hear about some <clears throat> exploration stories. So Aztec Minerals, uh, we're an exploration company. Uh, however, we've been successful in making discoveries at uh, not one, but both of our projects. So as our title slide suggests here, we're, we're focused on our two emerging discoveries, both located in North America. Uh, the grassroots discovery was made in Sonora, Mexico at our Cervantes project, which is now 100% owned. And we have a Brownfields project in Tombstone, Arizona. Uh, it's a gold, silver, uh, former heap leach mine that we've been drilling into and expanding. We're traded on the TSX Venture under AZT and on the OTCQB under the symbol AZZTF. Uh, I will be making forward-looking statements, so you're duly cautioned and encouraged to review our cautionary statement, which is uh, also on our website. So a quick overview of Aztec for those who are new to the story. Uh, again, we're, we're focused on the discovery of large gold, silver, and polymetallic deposits, and we're really focused in North America in the safest jurisdictions. Uh, the company is led by an experienced management and board. Uh, a number of our directors and, ma and managers have a uh, proven track record in making significant discoveries, developing mines, uh, and ultimately uh, selling companies and operating those mines. Uh, mining friendly jurisdictions, so in terms of risk management, this is key for us. Uh, we're focused on uh, projects that are in you know, what we consider to be the best in the US and Mexico. So Sonora is a prolific gold producing region in northern Mexico. And uh, Arizona is one of the top uh, politically safe jurisdictions within the United States uh, to be developing mineral projects. And, and I'll add that both of those projects are on private land. Um, and in Tombstone, Arizona, we, we own the private land. So a significant risk reduction there. A quick highlight of the gold copper discovery at Cervantes. So uh, we'll go through the discovery holes, but it's a it's a very large project, 3,600 hectares. It's got 11 separate targets on it. Uh, and we've focused in on one target, the California zone, and we'll, we'll see why in a minute. But we've now done over 10,000 meters of drilling there, over 40 holes into it, and almost all of them have hit uh, oxide gold mineralization. And some deeper drilling has uh, uncovered some prospectivity for a larger copper gold porphyry system at depth. Um, at Tombstone, Arizona, that was the focus of our drilling back in 2020 and 2021. We put about 40 drill holes in there, over 6,000 meters, uh, and we hit some exceptional gold and silver grades there, right, right in the bottom of the old open pit. Uh, so it's wide open to expand there as well. And we also have uh, a very exciting deep target there as well that we uh, are looking into <clears throat> drilling. In terms of management directors, so we're led by a very strong VPX, David Heil, uh, almost 40 years experience in the industry, and he's discovered a lot of gold and copper. Uh, rounding out our board, Mark Rebliati, uh, many of you will know him, recently inducted in the Mining Hall of Fame, um, and Pat Varis, another strong geologist who has had his hand in a couple of very large M&A exits for, for companies that he's been running and involved in. Cap structure, so uh, 90 million shares out, uh, you know, we feel we're heavily discounted at a market cap right now of around $20 million. We have over $3 million in the till. Uh, a lot of that came from Alamos Gold and their last financing back that closed in, in June. Um, fully diluted, 112. Um, and we've highlighted some comparables here. So this is a diversified group of companies based on geography, but the common thread is that none of them have a resource estimate yet and they're all recent discoveries. Um, so you know, we feel that there's, even in a bad market, there's a lot of room for us to uh, close the gap here. Uh, notable shareholders, so this is, uh, this is new uh, for Aztecs. Over the last year, we brought in um, Alamos, so they, they came in for about a 10% stake in May. Um, Kootenai Silver is now our largest shareholder. Uh, we issued them 10 million shares to consolidate 100% ownership in the Cervantes project. And a couple of institutions out of the United States that are focused on gold have come in recently and have been increasing their positions. Location-wise, two separate countries, but we're on the same map slide. So Tombstone is in southeastern Arizona, about 40 miles uh, northeast of the famous Taylor Hermosa discovery, which was subject to a $1.8 billion takeout by South 32 a few years ago. And then Cervantes is in eastern Sonora, and we're surrounded by a number of uh, famous 
gold oxide heap leach mines that are operated by Canadian mining companies, most notably uh, Mulatos, which is discovered and operated by our strategic investor Alamos Gold, and uh, Agnico's La India, and also to our south you have uh, Minera Alamos, a very successful development company, their Santana project. So we're in a great neighborhood here in Sonora. Uh, I mentioned we have 11 separate targets. I won't get into all of them, but uh, there's a lot to be uncovered at Cervantes, and we've really just focused in on one called California. Um, and here's, here's a quick visual summary of what we've drilled. So um, these are uh, grade thicknesses of a number of the drill holes that we've put in over the last two drill campaigns. Uh, you can see the red, so those are over 100 gram meter holes, and you go all the way down to uh, green, which is between 10 and 20. Um, and the key on this slide is, is that almost every hole is hit, significant oxide gold mineralization. Uh, there's favorable topography here, uh, potentially lending itself to uh, a, a very low stripping ratio. It's basically a ridge line that's mineralized to surface, uh, and it's open in all directions for expansion. Uh, this zone that we've drilled off now is 900 meters long, uh, by approximately 250 meters wide and a depth down to 265 meters of continuous mineralization. Uh, quick note on our highlight holes, 140 meters, almost of a gram and a half gold, 167 meters of a gram, 152.9, so very significant. These are all from the collar oxide down to about 100 meters. So we have a, a very, very uh, uh, encouraging picture developing with these drill holes. Um, metallurgy, you know, obviously a key question for uh, advancing a project. So preliminary bottle rolls are positive recoveries for gold in the high 80s in the oxide groups. And even in the mixed and sulfide groups, they're encouraging recoveries. So uh, we're drilling right now. We're in the middle of a 3,000 meter campaign. It's nearly 50% complete. And as part of that campaign, we're drilling a metallurgical test hole of a representative grade in that main California zone. And we'll be running... Uh, multi-stage column leach and announcing the results uh, of that to the market over the coming months. Um, in terms of upside, so again, open in all directions in the gold oxide, uh, and then at depth, there's a very large IP chargeability anomaly that could be indicative of a larger porphyry copper system, so we have a couple of deep holes going to that as we speak to test it out. Um, and here's what it looks like, so you can see that ridge line that I described. Uh, again, very favorable for potentially mining. Uh, there's not a lot of overburden there. And, uh, and maybe the most important development over the last few months is getting 100% of this project. That was probably a, a, an overhang for the stock market was having split ownership um, and, and Kootenai recognized that and so did we. So we came to what we view as a win-win deal, issuing them 10 million shares and, and putting the whole thing under the Aztec banner. Only have a couple minutes to talk about Tombstone, but we are equally as excited about Tombstone as we are at Cervantes. We own 75% of this in a joint venture, uh, and Tombstone's a famous silver district. Many people have been there on a holiday or have seen the movie. Um, it's a mining town, and in the 80s, after a period of high-grade silver mining uh, back before World War II, a group came in and, and opened pit heap leached about 6 million tons of material. Uh, along the main contention zone, which is uh, where the bulk of the high-grade silver was mined back, uh, back 100 plus years ago. Um, this was a private company, uh, they, they didn't systematically drill off a deposit, so it shut down in the mid-90s due to uh, distractions with the company that was operating it and poor metal pricing. So we've gone in there and re-drilled it and just below the pit wall and in the side walls, we're hitting some exceptional mineralization. Um, again, I won't go through this whole list, but uh, I think we have eight or seven or eight holes over 100 gram meters, uh, 65 and a half meters, averaging 3.4 grams gold equivalent is our top hole at this project. So again, almost every hole is hitting significant widths of oxide, gold, silver mineral mineralization here. And uh, we anticipate uh, going back for a third round of drilling here over the coming months as well. Um, there's the min mineralization on a long section. So you can see we haven't yet had an, on an opportunity to test deep at this project either. Um, we also have a deep CRD target about 600 meters below the pit. A bit more speculative, but we put this slide in to highlight that uh, when we go to drill this, if we hit... Uh, this is what happened to our neighbor over a three-year period when um, Richard Wark went and drilled under the Hermosa Silver District and, and turned that into, a, I think it was a $700 million win uh, and a big buyout. 
Um, we're not guessing on that target either. There's a historic drill hole that's uh, seven meters of almost 10% metal. Uh, so it, it's a very prospective target. A little bit expensive to drill, so we'll, we'll do that when the time is right uh, in the context of the market. Um, so in summary, recent milestones for Aztec, you know, we're cashed up. That was a big overhang. We got the cash from the right group, which is Alamos. They're obviously uh, very, very close to us down in, in Sonora, Mexico. Uh, we've consolidated ownership of the project. We've now deployed some of that capital into a follow-up drill program that started in late July. And we expect to have results from that coming out in, uh, in October, November. So near-term results there. And with that, um, I'm out of time. So thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any questions, uh, feel free to email me or, or watch the video after. Thank you.